Welcome back, Pirates. I'm James. And I'm Jose. These are your announcements for May 4th. Construction students have been working very hard building a 2,800 square foot, four bedroom and two story house. The construction class will soon have the house listed for sale. There will be an open house that will take place at 30 Shore, Lake Zurich, Illinois on May 7th from 1 to 4 p.m. and is open to everyone. The Skateboard Club will continue to meet every Thursday in room 152. Bring your board and keep rolling. Cutlass is looking for writers, picture takers, and artists for the school news website next year. Go to phscutlass.com and fill out the application form. See Mr. Burleman or Mr. Leatham with questions. Do you want to go to prom? If so, tomorrow is the last day mm -hmm. to register online. Ticket can be purchased this Saturday, May 6th, at Patton High School from 3 6 to 3 to 6 p.m. Only one day, guys. So Saturday you cannot attend. Wait. Now, here's a short about the upcoming children's play. Today is the last day to get your nomination for prom court. You can find the link on Patton High School homepage under the room under the under the prom packet tool link. Attention all ESL seniors. If you are currently in ESL or have ever were in ESL, we need your photos. If you have photos of yourself having fun at PHS, participating in activities, or just hanging out with your friends, please submit them for the ESL senior breakfast video. Photos can be emailed to Ms. Profit. Attention all 2017 Frisbee Fest participants. There is a mandatory meeting scheduled for Tuesday, May 11th in the auditorium. You may choose to attend the 7.30 a.m. meeting or the 3.30 p.m. meeting. We will be discussing the t-shirt, wristband, and other Frisbee Fest materials. If you are interested in joining Orcas' Dance Club for next year, attend the informational meeting on Monday, May 8th at 3.40 p.m. in the dance room. Go to the phsorcasist.com or see Mrs. Coleman in PE for more information. There will be an informational meeting for students interested in auditorium for the Latin or DNA dance group. Today after school in room 273, see Coach Sullivan in Social Studies survey if you have any questions. There will be a preseason meeting for anyone interested in cheerleading for the 2017 to 2018 season. The meeting will be held in room 321 on Tuesday, May 16th at 7:40 a.m. Now let's head over to Danny for current events. Thanks, James. The new craze of many students, ranging from elementary school to college, is fidget spinners. These bright, colorful, three-sided forms of fidget therapy have been sweeping the nation and have become very popular. Though an elementary school in Evanston has become upset with the distraction these spinners have become to the classroom and has since banned them. Kate Ellison, the principal of Washington Elementary School, said, Frankly, we found the fidgets were having the opposite effect of what they advertise. Kids are trading them or spinning them instead of doing schoolwork. The school board also stated that although these can be useful tools, especially with kids who have ADHD, instead it has turned into a toy and distracted other students. It'll be very interesting to see how other schools react to the Evanston school bans and if the other schools will follow. And now over to Jake for sports. In sports today, baseball hosts Barrington, tennis is at Schomburg, volleyball is at Conant, and boys lacrosse hosts Fremd, while girls lacrosse is at Fremd. Also, good luck to girls track and field in their conference meeting this weekend. That's it for today, Pirates. I'm Jake Hayes, and I'd like to thank you for watching PTV. Peace out, Pirates.